We're here at a uh, Dale Chihuly show. Now, Dale Chihuly is perhaps the world's foremost, or at least best known, glassblower. And you're the Dutch representative for Dale Chihuly. Could you tell us a little about him? Yes, we are not only uh, the Dutch representative uh, for Dale Chihuly, but we're the European representative uh, for Dale Chihuly. And uh, Dale is one of the, uh, of, is the famous artist in the world on glass. And especially known in, in the United States and in the last years he's trying to come over to Europe to get more project in Europe, more museum shows and he starts with his show in our gallery and um, it, it works good, it works very fine. Now Dale's pieces are in their self very colorful and very unique. Could you tell us a little about his production method? Yes, he, he works with uh, different pieces, different techniques and different blowers. Every piece has a special name and uh, from uh, in every name there are um, different colors. He works always with uh, very bright colors and always with a, uh, a color on the end of the piece, always a lip which is red or, or yellow or blue which gives a, a special touch to the piece. Now I noticed in looking around the show that a number of these pieces have in fact been sold. Could you tell us uh, who are the clients that buy Dale Chihuly's pieces? Uh, the clients who buy at this moment uh, the Dale Chihuly pieces are glass lovers. So, and the people are, uh, are for a longer period collecting glass, modern glass art, and they, sh they follow Dil Chihuly in the United States and in the museum shows he did, and after the show in Venice he did. And uh, at, at the moment that Dil was in Holland, they, they start to, to give more interest and they start buying. And all pieces we sold are to Dutch collectors who have more than one, one single glass object. Now, Dale Chihuly is uh, something of a showman um, in his own right. He did a, a big splash in Venice. Could you tell us a little about that? Yes, in Venice he did, I don't know exactly by head when, but a couple of years ago he did a very huge show, all chandeliers hanging on the canals of Venice. And he, there, will be, there was lots of publicity, much television, lots of newspaper write about it. It was one of the, in Europe, was one of the most uh, uh, wrote about show in the last years. And now he's having a very huge show in, uh, in Jerusalem, in Israel, a little bit farther away. But it's fantastic. In the Tower of da David, he made uh, about 20 pieces, big, huge installations, which is different in day and night because of the lighting, and it's terrific. Now, why is Dale Chihuly so popular with uh, collectors and uh, other people? Uh, because of the, the the finest of the pieces, the pieces consist mostly out more of, more than one part, uh, about three, four, or ten parts, and you can you can play with it. You can give it another touch if you uh, put the piece in, in, in the, the parts in different positions. You get a little bit another piece, and the the pieces are very delicate and have the very thin glass with very nice colors, so it uh, it gives a very good feeling. Now, collecting fine glass um, is not a new thing. In fact, uh, I think of the American Tiffany and the various Art Nouveau uh, glass manufacturers of the previous century. But there's something of a revival of glass work right now, isn't there? Yes, when we started uh, 20, almost 20 years ago, it was not so famous. Not so many people know about uh, the glass art. But the last uh, 20 years, it's, uh, it's grown and grown. And every year there are more collectors and more people who, is, who has interests. And you see more shops and galleries who are doing glass art. And uh, especially in the United States, uh, there are much more galleries doing, uh, doing glass. But in, in Europe, they'll come more and more. And they're more specialized in only glass, like we. We are specialized only in contemporary glass art. And uh, this is a show from the United States, but we also have shows from Czechoslovakia, and, or from Czech Republic, Slovak Republic, or from our own country, Holland. Now, is there many famous Dutch glass blowers? Yes, there are a few famous, and uh, one is uh, Peter Bremers. He's one of the, at this moment, the most famous uh, glass blower, who's also been asked to for the the big galleries in the United States to have shows over there. And another one is Winnie Teschmacher. She's not so famous like Peter, but she's starting to get more and more famous. And there are a special group of collectors who's collecting only the piece of Peter or only the the, the piece of Winnie. That's that's typical. Yes. 
Well, Matisse, thank you very much for being with us today, and it's a beautiful show of Dale Chihuly's glass. Okay, thank you for coming.